He's Ray Ferraro down at ice level. My name is James Sabalski for EA Sports, set to bring you what should be a fun one here tonight. Should be a fun one tonight as we send it down to ice level. Ray, what are you looking forward to tonight? Why, well, always the team that's most aggressive. You get on the body, you create some turnovers. Once you create some turnovers, you're able to attack. And I think this game will be decided by who's up on their front foot more often. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Oilers take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Dunks it in. Utah's got a hold of it along the wall. Through center along the wing. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Puts it on goal, and that one's stopped. Tulsa's looking to break out. Here they come on the attack. Into the corner of the attacking area. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. With the stop. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. The Grizzlies take it along the wall. Passes right to the front, and that's picked off in front. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves the puck along the half wall. Scrum along the boards, and the puck's kicked free. Anderson's taking it from his own end. Receives the pass. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Nice pass. Takes the pass. Along the half wall with the puck. A chance from the slot. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Sends the pass over. Denied by the goaltender. Sends a pass over. Over the line they come. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's an opportunity in front of the net. And he makes the save. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Heads to the back of the net. Moves the puck. And there's the save. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. That's off a stick. Stops him cold. start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Puts the puck on net. No, oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Gets it out of his own end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Wrist shot from the slot. Turns it away. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. From the slot, makes the glove stop. Quick hands, not only does he get a glove on it, he catches it, which is hard to do. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Off target! On the attack along the boards. Right in the slot. With possession along the wall. Back to the blue line. Takes the feed. Puck grab by Smith. The Oilers have it in the offensive end. 
They've totally controlled the puck here on this shift. Now they've worn the opposition down. Eventually, you get a scoring chance or they take a penalty. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves the puck along the half wall. Comes up with the stop. Up along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Smith. Looks to set up at the point now. Move to the middle. Stopped by the goaltender. Last minute of play in the first period. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Sends it across the ice. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Along the half wall with the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. Nice feed from the goaltender. That concludes the first period. Really, both teams still filling each other out here as we are still scoreless. If you'd like to rub shoulders with some of our players, don't forget to go to our website and check out our next charity event. 40 minutes of regulation still to play. We're looking forward to it. Hopefully you are too. Both teams are back at center ice and we are ready to get period number two underway. Both teams still feeling each other out after a scoreless 20. Let's see if that changes here in period number two. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. The Oilers are going to have to battle a little frustration here. They had the puck most of the first period, but there is no score. No room for that one to get through. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. That's intercepted. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. And that goes off a player. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Tulsa's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. I don't know how interested he is in a punch in the face contest. Looks like he's going off for boarding. Good call. I don't know that this is a penalty 15 years ago, though. <laughs> I believe they call that back in the day, right? First chance of the night here on the man advantage. This has been a pretty tightly played game, but now they've earned the game's first power play. So they've got an opportunity to get the first strike on the board. Start with an offensive zone face-off and a chance to get out in front. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Carries it across the line. Pokes the puck away. Pinned up along the boards. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Dead eyes him on the play. Comes up with nothing on the play. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. Smothered that in close chance. And manages to clear the zone. Tulsa's got the puck along the boards. Moves behind the net. Handles the puck at the point. Takes a shot. Blocker save. Through center along the wing. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Hammers the one-timer. Beautiful glove stop on that one. Stevens makes an excellent save on this scoring chance. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And makes the save. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. And that one's broken up. Gets it out of his own end. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Tries to make that cross ice speed. Intercepts the pass at center. Tulsa's got the puck in the defensive end. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Puck goes off the glove. Both sides back to even strength. 
immediately this becomes really frustrating but as they go back to the bench the power play a look at that tick we did a lot of good things we do that again the next time we're gonna score play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone handles the puck feeds it down low and that one's broken up the Oilers scoop it up along the boards Rhodes slides the puck along the line. And now it's grabbed by Phillips. On the backhand, stopped by the goaltender. Utah's gained possession along the boards. Marchman swooping in on the attack. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Takes it across the blue line. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. He's doing the best he can here. He just wants to get himself off the ice as quickly as he can. Looks like he's on the limp here a little bit. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. The Grizzlies move the puck in the defensive zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. Right up front! And he's able to handle that one. is going to feel that for quite some time. You can tell the way he left the ice that he was not anywhere near 100%. We can only hope that he's okay. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Carries it in. Puts it up front. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Smith's got it against the boards. Takes it right in the chest. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. Back underway as he wins the try inside the offensive zone. And misses over the net. Tulsa's got the puck along the wall. Knocked away. Oh, that just goes wide. Feeds it on over to Smith. The Oilers get a hold of it. Takes the feed from the left side. Watson's got it along the wing. Referee singling for a penalty. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. And it's going to be two minutes for hooking on the call. A lot of people debate, is this a lazy penalty to hook? I don't know if it's lazy all the time, but it's a penalty of being out of position. Your stick's parallel to the ice, you get called all the time. Another power play opportunity coming up here. you got to have a short memory on a power play. You haven't scored yet tonight, but that can't matter on this one. Get the puck back to the point, start moving it around, and get people converging at the net. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. On the attack along the boards. Takes the feed at the point. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Trying to get it down the ice. Cross the blue line, and they'll get that much needed change, Ray. Yeah, they've got to get guys off the ice. They look tired. Now you can get a fresh group on the ice. Slides the puck over. With possession along the wall. With the blast, too much congestion in front. And manages to clear the zone. Tulsa's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Pulls the puck at the line. Wrist shot from the slot, blocked in traffic. A chance to clear, still under man. Takes the feet at the back end. Tries to clear. And they do just that. I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Moves right to the middle. Can't connect. Handles it along the blue line. From the spin, rings the iron. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. The Oilers run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. You're always angry when you don't score on the power play. But 80% of the time, you don't. Yet it becomes really frustrating when you let one slip away.
Good job tangling up his opponent here. Walker's carrying it ahead. Takes the feed. And now he moves it quickly to Walker. Centering pass. And he was right there. They can't connect. Here's a short pass to Walker. Denied by the goaltender. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denies him on the slapper. Receives the pass. Utah's got it now. Here's a rip. And he comes up with a big time save on that. And as the second period comes to an end, what can you say? This has been all about the goalies tonight. Still scoreless. Hey, kids, don't forget if you're a member of our rookie team, you'll have the opportunity to have a couple of our players sign autographs after the game. The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action ready to go. Puck is dropped. We are underway here in a very tight game here in the third. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Takes it across the blue line. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes that pass back at the point. Right to the middle. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Knocks the puck loose. Puck battle along the boards. Takes the puck along the boards. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but... You already know at this point you're going to sit down. The Grizzlies get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, to this point, the game is scoreless, and now you've got a real great opportunity with your power play on the ice to get on the board first. That first goal is so critical. Make the opponent chase the game. And that goes off the player in front. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Looks like tripping the call. Sometimes they're lazy, sometimes they're just bad luck. A five on three with plenty of time to work with here coming up. With such a long five on three power play in front of them, they can afford to be patient. Don't take the first shot, take the best shot. Hammers one, big time stop with the glove. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. And he comes up with it. Oh, what a save with the glove! Oh, he's on it there. Both saves are really good ones. Shot on net, gets in front of it. Another stop by the goaltender. Unbeatable! No time to take a breath. He made that first stop, and then the puck turns around on him again. his own face off and he wins the draw makes the save nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone up along the wing Moves the puck along the half wall. Sets up from Gretzky's office. And some fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. rattel has got the puck. Now a quick pass to Marchman. Puck set across the blue line. Quick pass to Marchman. Shot, and that one's broken up. Great block there. Gets it out of his own end. Slides it quickly to Walters. Centering pass. Deflected. 
knocked it away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Scores! The power play delivers big time. Puck moved quickly. The players moved quickly. That's a terrific goal taking advantage of the extra man. Well, he gets to walk into this and pound it by the goaltender. Nobody picks him up in the high slot. Goalie's not going to get many of these. Utah's gone ahead here by one in the third. What's the message now for the stretch run, Ray? To be aggressive. Too often teams sit back on their heels. They give up a chance. They give up a power play. Pretty soon it's an all-out scramble. Hammers it on net. Denies him with a save. Jack Walker. Time of the goal. Four minutes, 19 seconds. The Grizzlies have been the more active squad offensively tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. The Grizzlies, man advantage is over. A good work by those penalty killers in this case. They're able to keep themselves in touch with the game, give themselves an opportunity to climb back in. Stays with it. Maintains control of the puck. Nice pass. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Centering pass. Can't connect. Back at the point, they set it up. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Move to the middle. Utah's got a hold of the puck. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Along the half wall with the puck. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. Lugs the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Takes the pass. Here they come on the attack. Takes the shot. Comes up with the stop. Tulsa's got it from behind the net. Puck lands back onto a stick. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that's blocked away. Sends the pass over. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a pass down low. Wrists one. Gives them nothing in front. The Oilers have it against the wall. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. The good old-fashioned hook has sent him off to the box. He's almost in the right position, but he's got to give him a little hook. When he gives that hug, he goes to the penalty box. It gets called every time. Another special team's opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Down one, a chance to tie on the power play. What a great chance for them here. But you can't stress. You have to be confident and aggressive, but don't force anything. Knocked away. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. More than half the frame has been played here. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Handles the puck from the left side. Back on a stick now. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Here's a chance right in the slot. Misses the net. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Deep inside the defensive end. Still trying to clear. And that's a big defensive play with that clearing. Yeah, you got to focus on it, James. It seems like an easy play, but that puck has to go out. Tulsa's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Sends a pass over. Here's a shot. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale.
the Grizzlies continue to lead here in this third period. They've been the busier team offensively. Clock has dropped, and we are back underway. And manages to clear the zone. Sent into the opposite side. Utah's penalty killers get a hold of it. Gets it out of his own end. The Oilers have it behind the net. From the right side, moves it up ahead. On the attack along the boards. Centering pass. Quick shot. Stones him in front. And manages to clear the zone. Well, you have to look at that as a blown opportunity for the power play here at this point in the game as both teams are back at even strength. Oh, they're going to rue that one. A chance to even the score here. They didn't get it done. And we go back to even strength. Through center along the wing. Moves the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. The Grizzlies have been the busier team in the shot department, and they lead it late in this third period. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Makes the save with the glove. Utah's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Tulsa's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes it at center. Over the line they come. Takes the feed. He scores! What an effort. They keep staying at the game. They push. They're looking for the tie goal. They finally get it. I never was a goalie, but I know when I sat on the bench and it got late, you start thinking about the shutout. The goalie's got to be thinking about it. So late in the third period, and this shutout bin is gone. The Oilers have even things up late in the third. Does this change strategies now? Oh, for sure it does. Coaches will shorten this bench right down. You might see players going every second shift on the way down the stretch. They've got numbers. Shot with the stop. Here in the late going of the frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. Phillips takes it along the wing. That's broken up in the neutral zone. Turns it aside. Quick pass over to Phillips. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. With possession along the wall. Tulsa's got a hold of it along the wall. The Grizzlies get a hold of the puck in their own end. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. And he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a howitzer at the net. Stops the rocket of a shot. Passes it over to Phillips. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he was slowed up. Hooking looks to be the call as the official's arm goes up in the air. Let's get the official decision. Anderson's going off for hooking. There's certain plays, as soon as they happen, the red flag goes up for the official. Stick goes across the player's waist. He's looking for hooking. The game has become better since they've cracked down on obstruction, Ray. Penalty number three, Josh Anderson. Two for the penalty. Regulation time comes to an end. That means we've got some overtime coming up. Overtime's coming up in just a matter of moments. We'll be back right after this break.
Get your sudden death OT pools going. Get your social media predictions. Overtime is underway, people. Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. And mission accomplished, Ray. Yeah, late in the game, it's defensive blue line, puck out. Offensive blue line, puck in. Nothing turned over at those two spots. Moves the puck along the half wall. Centering pass! Shot! Overshot it! Sometimes the only place you have is up over the goalie's shoulder. Sometimes you airmail it. Stopped by the goaltender. Now he takes it over the line. That's a solid hit. Right in the slot. Big save. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Tulsa's got the puck along the boards. Handles the puck. From in close. Denies him in front. Oh, and another look at that. Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, yeah, good work, guys. Good work, Brannigan. Getting this thing right. What a stop by the goaltender. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And makes the save. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Just a few seconds remaining here with this man advantage. Can they get something going here? And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Move to the middle. Chance to win it. And he comes up with a huge save. Gets it out of his own end. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Time's up on the man advantage here in overtime. Sometimes the opportunity shows up at a really critical point. Here you are in overtime. You got a pop. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Up along the wing. Slides the puck over. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Slides that one right across the blue line. From off the wall and onto a stick. Out front. In close. Turns it away. And a penalty is coming up as the play is whistled dead here. And the official signaling for hooking on the play. You gotta move your feet here. You're chasing the play. As soon as you stop your feet, you're gonna get called. Face off in time, certainly not on the penalty killing unit here, down to three men. You've worked hard enough to earn the power play here in the extra session. Now you wanna make sure you take advantage of it. There was some quick instruction on the bench about how to end this game. Ah, oh, there's gonna be a penalty on this play here, James. The arms up, there's the whistle, and boy, look at the time here for a penalty coming up. A little too much stick and body hooking up on this one, hence hooking on the goal. Yeah, I, I didn't think this was a difficult call for the official to make at all. Here we go, a lengthy five-on-three power play looms. Well, here's a chance to put this away, a power play gifted to you in overtime. One shot, and this game is yours. Slides it back to the blue line. Along the half wall with the puck. And it's a quick pass to Phillips. Tries to get the puck to Rattel. And we've got a two-on-one. Trying to get it out of danger. And that's a big clear on that play. Yeah, coaches are always telling us about details. There's one of them. Get the puck out late in a game. Walters plays it against the boards. From the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. You don't want to give up too many of these during the course of the game. The odd man rush puts the goalie on alert, but he makes a good stop. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And manages to clear the zone. Utah's gained possession along the boards. Moves it to Walker. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, and he misses an opportunity there. Looking to be too perfect. Get it on the net. You've got a better chance to squeak one through the goaltender than if you miss it outside the net. Walker's got it into offensive territory. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Here's the chance to set up now. Final minute of OT, and it's still anyone's game. 
The Grizzlies scoop it up along the boards. Takes the feed. From the point, turns it away on the slap shot. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Sends it down low. A chance to win it, and he keeps it alive. What a stop. Great reflexes, another save. He gets that one, too. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back-to-back. Williams holds his position really well here. He's able to make the stop. That's a good scoring chance that he snuffs out. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Whistle blown as a few players go ducking for cover on the bench. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Gets it out of his own end. Referee's hand goes up in the air. We got a delayed penalty coming up here. Here comes the call from the official. Hooking the call and maybe a little sell job along the way. A little bit, but the player's got to move his feet. As soon as you stop, if it's even close, you're going to get now. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Marchman's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Receives the pass. Just wide. Picked up along the boards by Marchman. Nice pass. And that banks off a stick. Unloads one. Just wide of the net. Overtime solves absolutely nothing, so we'll head to a shootout. Fans, we'd like to draw your attention to the and as the two sides decide on who will line up in the shootout, we'll take a quick break and get ready. For Neither team has given an inch after three periods. Nothing solved after overtime, so here we go. Shootout, let's go. A lot of people lament the shootout, but look at this place right now. Crowd is on their feet. They're buzzing about with the first shooter ready to go. Trying to get back into this shootout. Stick save for the goalie! Stop by the goaltender.
I guess they all felt that the crowd didn't want to leave just yet. So on to the next round we go. Reaches out and pokes it away. And a big win here in the shootout. Nothing solved in regulation. Then it becomes an individual player versus goalie shootout. They end up getting the upper hand. In the meantime, and in between time, he's Ray, I'm James, good night.